Welcome back. It is 645. Let's catch you up on your health news this morning, including what you may need to watch out for as the weather gets warmer, and that is tick season. That's right. The Lone Star tick is the most common here in Georgia, and if it bites, it can transmit several diseases to human. There's even one that could leave you with an allergic reaction to meat. Uh, Jessica Cha went to Milledgeville to meet someone living with that disorder and to understand how to best protect yourself against ticks. I told my wife, I said, call 911. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the EpiPen. Coy Hollinshed, a Milledgeville pastor, was bitten by a Lone Star tick four years ago. Since then, he's gone into allergic shock at least once every year. His last attack was this past October. My hands were swelling, feet were swelling. And then when I went to tell my wife that I was going to walk outside to try to shake the anxiety off, uh, I couldn't talk because my throat was closing up. Hollinshed has alpha-gal. It's a tick-borne illness that essentially makes you allergic to red meat. He says you don't realize how many things contain meat products. Everything you know that we eat has to be thoroughly thought out. I read every ingredient on boxes that I, that I look over. He says he's adjusted to living with the allergy and with the new diet. But it still changes your life. I mean, you just can't go into a restaurant and sit down and and just eat whatever you want. You have to worry about cross-contamination in restaurants. But I wouldn't panic just because I got a tick. Coy Hollinshed says he doesn't remember where or when he got bit, but pediatrician Dr. Christy Peterson says that's pretty common. I think that the tick illness that is a problem is the one where you don't remember a tick bite. Dr. Christy Peterson, a pediatrician from Atrium Health Navicent, says that there are plenty of tick-borne illnesses. I think that there's probably more out there than we will actually diagnose and know. So if you're bitten by a tick, Peterson says it's not a big deal. She described the best way to remove a tick if you spot one. Grab the tick with the tweezers as close to your skin as possible and pull the um, tick out. And um, know that um, the tick illness can present as late as maybe two weeks after the tick bite. Peterson says you can try to avoid tick bites by covering up as much skin as possible and wearing insect repellent while in tall grass or hiking. In Milledgeville, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. All good tips. Now, Lankford Allergy Clinic in Milledgeville says that AlphaGal is relatively new to the allergy world, only appearing in the last 10 to 15 years. That's definitely some great information. We'll have that posted on our website a little bit later on this morning.